happy week guys we're outside baking in the rain so it has been raining a lot since week so finally get a little bit of drop but the rain is coming but we have baked sweet potato pudding banana bread and we're gonna bake cocoa bread last and here we have some tea going on the fire right now so i will take you along with me or camp cooking outside in the rain solo let's go to the fireside And he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the herb brought forth her fruit. So I'm just trying to get the fire going on the sweet potato pudding. It is almost finished baking, but I want to keep it as warm as possible so it can be completely baked. Now I'll go ahead and remove the top from it and this is how our sweet potato pudding looks so the rain is coming again but this is the second thing that i have baked since the day and it is sweet potato pudding i have already baked the banana bread and i'm gonna ready up the cocoa bread now before the weather gets really bad so guys watch me as i go along i'm not gonna show you the entire ingredients and steps because we're having a lot of rain so i'm going to show you the end product and some of the starting so watch me as i go along so i turned my home into a bakery guys this is me just sectioning the sweet potato pudding by cutting it and i do have customers which order from me so i am just packaging it and delivering it to my customers So I have some more customers that have hardered sweet potato pudding. So here am I just placing it into the paper bag and I will bring them in a small container so that my customers can get their orders. So the banana bread is on the fire going. We will just remove the top and this is how beautiful it looks that is baked on the outside fire. Guys, I'm just walking to the farm. I'm going to give you a little sweet pepper update and tomato. I'm going to show you how much I have on the tree and show you how big they are. So these are our sweet peppers. They are very green. And this is my tomato tree. It is growing very nicely and it has a lot of fruit on it. I'll be picking tomato soon. And this is my very huge sweet pepper. And here is German in the field cutting rabbit feeding for his rabbits. Guys, I'm just heading back to the camp. I'm going to ready up the cocoa bread now because this weather is unpredictable and we're going to finish baking for today. So once the fire has finished boiling the tea, we're going to bake cocoa bread. So once it has reached about 10 minutes, I will check on the cocoa bread to make sure that they are properly baking. And I'll go ahead and fan the fire to make sure that the temperature don't drop while it is baking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Guys, it's raining again from yesterday. It has been raining on and off. And it started today in the afternoon but i am just home from work so i'm gonna cook so. so here i have two pounds of beef liver 
and a bowl of vegetables all different type of greens carrots and tomato now i'll just go ahead and add some seasoning to my beef liver make sure it is properly seasoned and i'll go ahead and add some browning and give that a thorough mix to make sure it is combined properly now i will light the fire and place the pot on it with some oil and some garlic so that is heated properly then i will add the beef liver Once it is properly brown, I will go ahead and add some water and make sure it cooks about 20 minutes while adding the season as well and the tomato sauce. Then I will remove it from the fire. Now we're on to the vegetables and I will add some water and properly wash the vegetables and cut them into smaller pieces so I can stir fry them. Here we have some beautiful kale that I will be cleaning properly. See how green they are and very fresh. Here is the beautiful plate of vegetables that I will be cutting now. Now I'm finished cutting all my beautiful vegetables. I will now go ahead and check on my beef. I'll go ahead and add some thyme and a lot of garlic. And I will add the remaining seasoning and give that a mix so it can cook properly. Lastly, I'll go ahead and add the tomato sauce. Give the beef liver a mix and let it cook for five minutes remaining.
It's time to saute our vegetables and I place a little bit of oil in the frying pan and all the vegetables and I will place a little bit of organic season over the top and a little bit of water and cover it so it can steam properly. So the beef liver has finished cooked and I will now go ahead and turn off the fire and let it rest while I check on my vegetables. So the vegetable has finished steamed the way I like and this is our pot of nutritious vegetables. Now I'll go ahead and share the dinner and we will be eating right outside during this rainy time. This is my delicious dinner guys and I will be eating it right outside the camp while it is raining. See me here catching water from nature. What's best to do while it is raining? You tell me. <laughs> I will just go ahead and finish eating dinner. The rain is coming down more heavily and I'm just catching some water in my hands from nature. Now I'll go ahead and wash both my hands <laughs> and we are enjoying the rain in the countryside. Thank you so so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and hit the post notification bell below.